All right. So last time we left, you were at the communications area, and you had sent a message out into the vast emptiness of space. Yeah. Uh, so you wake up. It's day five. You were in your room because you slept because you were a good boy. <laughs> um. So. Yeah, back to the daily ground. Do you want to go down to the comms area, see if anything came back? Yeah. Okay. You head back down there. No news is back yet, but you have a day task. one task today. One day. Right, what's the task? Uh, it's clear out rooms. It will take you six hours, and it's basically just cleaning up the whole place. Okay, right, mate, we'll do that now then. Yeah. Um, also, I will uh, say now, because it might be relevant in the future. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, but, like, different events that happen at different times trigger other things. So if something happened somewhere and <laughs> you do something else and you come back, something might change. Oh, <laughs> so in six hours, there might be news. Maybe. It, yeah, so that, that sort of thing happens. That That right. is how this game well, yeah, that makes changes. Then it, otherwise, it would sort of be like none of your actions matter. Yeah, yeah. Um, and in so... an RPG game, that wouldn't be <laughs> the best thing. <laughs> It would sort of be just like getting told a story. Okay, so okay. room cleaning. So <laughs> this is not an idle task, obviously, because mm -hmm. you are actively having... cleaning to yeah, yeah. Having, actively having to clean. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Yeah. Um. Okay, so six hours go by. So what time is it now? It is now like seven o'clock in the morning. So I only slept for one hour. Basically, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe the cryo chamber. I don't know. <laughs> maybe the bed's just sort of like a deep sleep thing. You get into it, you get enough sleep to last you. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay. So I will go back to comms and see what's up there. Okay. You go to communications area. Uh there is one alert. It is from, uh, what is it called? Uh, Project Fatsu, which is the project name that your boss set up. Uh, you don't know what it stands for, but meh. Uh, so it just says, we've, we have looked, we're starting to look for your missing partner now. Extra resources will be sent to you shortly. It took them five days to even start looking for the guy. Dude, you only sent the message yesterday. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty good reaction speed. <laughs> no, 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 but no, like, he's been missing since day one, though. He, yeah, you arrived there and then he went missing. Exactly, so why didn't they send help Im immediately? You didn't tell them. How did they not... Wait, <laughs> so wait, what? I... So, I didn't know I could... Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's evil. Anything you can do in real life, you can do in this game as well as other but things. I didn't, I didn't actually tell them that he'd gone missing. The message I sent out was, hello, is anybody out there? That, that doesn't is it? Sound, oh. That hmm. doesn't sound like, hey, my partner went missing. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll just assume that you sent some other stuff as well. For the purpose of the plot. Okay then. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Um, I sent, yeah, I sent that to be like, hello, whoever sent me the last one. Who are you and what do you want? Okay. Okay, okay then. There's um, also on the communication screen, there is a message also being downloaded. But it's on like 2% right now and it has been downloading for an hour. So... Mm. As soon then, as you sent the previous message, it 
you got something back, but it's taking a while to download. Right. All right. Then I'll go to the crystals task. I know it's like nine hours, but why not? Okay. So you go along to the research room. Um, the you notice that the moss is now starting to grow out of the doors. Oh shit! <laughs> and it's taken up like a, a full quarter of the room now. Uh, yeah. That's... Oh no! <laughs> My day sex gene is gonna have eaten me alive. <laughs> You do notice, though, that it is sort of avoiding any mechanical outlets or, like, wires. It sort of grows around it instead of growing on top of it. It doesn't like electricity. Oh, (laughs) I'm going to remember that. In nine hours, that moss is dead. Jesus. (laughs) What are you going to do? I don't know. Like, a live wire. and just (laughs) Jesus. (laughs) Get out what's you know the things you attach from your car to the lamppost to get it or you know to the lights to get it to yeah. work again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It so... doesn't like electricity, and I don't like it. So. Jesus Christ. Right. Yeah. So you can do another uh, shard activity. This is segmenting and generating the shard, which will take you eight hours. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. It's not idle, though. So. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, yeah, so at the end of it, I can electrocute some moss and <laughs> check on the communications thing. Okay. That's what I'll do. Right, so eight hours later. Bam, 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 bam. This is, this is uh, obviously the music that's playing in the background. I don't know. Um. All right, so... What do you want to do now? The thing's over. Did you say you want to try and electrocute the moss? I do. I do. Because they don't like... They, if they're avoiding electrical things... Okay. Then they don't like electricity. So... Okay. That is logical. Um, so how are you going to try and do this? Like, pull out a wire? I don't know. Do I have a blowtorch anywhere? Uh... I mean, you can try and search for one. Um, I will try and search for a blowtorch. Okay. Um, I know that's not electrical. I just I want to see what fire does to it. It is. <laughs> yeah. So okay. It's gonna so... grow arms and legs and fight back, isn't it? <laughs> the most logical place I would say is the storage room to search for something. Fourteen. Fourteen. You do not find anything. You spend an hour. Finding nothing. This is uh, familiar. <laughs> All right. Do you want to search again? Yes. Um, okay. Oh wait. Can I also be searching simultaneously for something electrical, like um, those? What are they called? You know the cable things that get you the. Uh, here. I, I, I mean. <gasps> Do we have defibrillators <laughs> in the medical room? <laughs> Okay. Um, do you want to go up to the living area where there's medical supplies? Yes. Okay. Um, there's no defibrillator. There's none there. No. Damn it. <laughs> uh, you do find though. It's like a. It's like a little jolt stick, like for it's the equivalent of one of those. What do you, what do you call them? Defibrillators. Mm-hmm. It's like that, but it's muscle stimulus, like shooting a quick electrical jolt into a muscle. Oh, yes. <laughs> I go back to the boss and I just start prodding it with it. Alright, so each time you do it, it fizzes and it sort of shakes-ish. The moss or the rod? Both. Um, oh. The rod itself is fine, but the moss is... The rod, the rod's fine, but the moss is getting darker, so it's getting crispy. Um, oh yes! And it's you hear sort of a, a squealing sound. So, it doesn't seem to like it, but no serious damage seems to be caused. Hmm. Can I just keep electrocuting the same bit until it? 
<laughs> How long do you want to do that for? An hour. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. You spend an hour um, electrocuting this one bit of moss. Um, damn. <laughs> okay. It, it doesn't seem to be moving anymore at the edges. Like, it stopped growing-ish. <gasps> so I stopped it from growing? Or just that bit? Uh, I mean, it. this bit in the corners just stopped growing, as far as you can see. Um, can't tell you what's going to happen next, but... Mm. Uh, oh, uh, can I do an upgrade on the crystals? Okay, wait, did you just do the eight-hour-long one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, no, you actually, you did say, didn't you say that there was already an upgrade that I could do, but that we should leave for today already? Yes, there is another one that re also required level four science previously. It will take you, how long, uh, six hours. Right, that was why we didn't do it before. Yeah. Okay, right, I will do it after I get back from, you know, um... Comms. Okay, you you're going to communications then. Yep. All right. Okay, you go to communications. It is downloaded the message fully. Do you want to read it? Yes. Okay. The first thing you see is a sort of bullet style, so it's dotted like uh... Morse code. Yeah. So it's got a Morse code at the top. But then underneath it is uh, a bullet print image of the same icon you keep seeing, like the square with mm -hmm. shaved off triangles and circles in the middle. Um, and then beneath it, it's sort of like a poem. Uh, do you want me to read it out? I take it you do. Yes. Because my poetry is just so good. All right. It reads, my home was once a vast starry sea until the lakes of the spawn that you see. Dag shall rise on the rock beneath me. He shall meet us gods of three. Okay, that's, um, <laughs> something, that's something. That's that... something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, hmm. I, I'll make a note of it so that I don't lose it, because the last message that they sent out disappeared. Okay, so you, note. you write it down, basically. Um, yeah, okay. okay. Um, I want to take a quick trip to the airlock and make sure that the stuff that's there hasn't spread too much. Okay. Um, do you want to go straight to the airlock, or do you want to walk around a bit? Walk around a bit. Okay, right. uh... That means you need to roll a d20 for encounter. 16. 16. You do not have an encounter. Okay. So you go to the airlock. The moss has now covered the entirety of the airlock and is growing outside of the station. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, yeah. dropped, I dropped a tiny little bit in there. Yep. That's yep. It's grown over the entire airlock and is now outside. I take it blow torches don't work in space, do they? Mm, no, I don't think. I wouldn't think so. Because it would make the fire, but then the fire would just instantly stop existing. Yeah, yeah. there's no oxygen. That's why you need space out there. Uh, all right. right. Well, then, in that case, I'll just. I'll go. Okay, how many hours are left in the day? There is seven. I'm gonna look once more in storage for that blowtorch. Okay. You go to storage. Uh, roll a d twenty. Eight. Okay, you find. Um, it's like the electrical rod, but it's bigger and it has two ends. Two prongs that you can jab things with. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Um, that's for day six, I guess. 
Day six is moss cleaning day. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. There'll be very little. So is it, I take it this one's more powerful as well. Uh, yeah, bit. it does more electrical damage, I could say. Yeah. All right. You have six hours left in the day. Do you want so to I'll, sleep? Yeah. I'll upgrade the, the thing. Oh, yeah. That's exactly six hours, isn't it? Yeah. Um... Okay, you do an all-nighter, your laser upgrades, but this is sort of a, this is modular, so it's half of the next upgrade. Uh, right. But the okay, day well, is over. So what do I need for the next upgrade? It is eight hours, and you need, to, well, you've actually done... Yeah, you've done level 5 science, which means you can do the next one as well. Ching. Do you want to just do that straight away? I'll t- check what my tasks are. Just see. Okay, so you go to comms. Uh, oh, by the way, next time you go to sleep, you're going to get a shock. Um, okay. Well, I... uh... <laughs> right, day 6, you only get one task today as well. Um, it is replace oxygen filters. It will take you two hours, and it's in the oxygen facility. Yeah. So do you want to get straight to that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I've shocked you. I, I all I can think of is don't fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. You're going to do that task just straight away? Yeah. Okay, that takes you two hours. Um, yeah, what do you want to do now? There's... Yeah, you could do the next laser task. Then that's what I'll do. Okay. So this will take you eight hours. Hold on. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. You need to go... Okay. Okay. We have a bit of a problem. Oh? You need to... Oh, God. What is this again? Yeah, you need the locked container uh, pass for this. And that will be given to you on day 10. Because uh, in the locked container, there's lots of heavy equipment and stuff. So basically, you can't do anything towards the laser until day 10. Hmm. All right. Uh, it's electrocuting bitches day. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Oh, I don't know where to start. Re- no, the research room's already had a bit done to it. So, And there's stuff in there. The airlock, I can't really see too much. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just thought of what would happen if the airlock got completely demolished by the moss if the moss were to damage the things after it was on them for too long mm-hmm. if there were no doors <laughs> and an airlock <laughs> then that would be very bad okay it's airlock time okay time to clear it all right roll a d20 for me 13 13 okay there is no encounter um, you go into the airlock, you put on your spacesuit, and it's jab at the moss time, I guess. Uh, what could this count as? I suppose this is sort of an attack, almost. So, your character's attack is 8, and this electrical rod gives you plus 2, which makes you 10. And that is a regular. So roll a d20 for me. 19. Yeah, 19. Oh. Oh. 10% extra success. Okay. You you managed to spend like two hours prodding at this stuff, electrocuting it. Uh, it's now starting to bubble as well. Um, making the same high-pitched noise. And as well as that, you manage to take a part off of the moss and 
I guess, throw it out of the airlock. Well, that's what I tried to do with the last one, but then it just latched onto the floor. Mm, this is like a f- deep fried bit. All right. So, yeah. Two hours of that, and that moss is not looking too hot anymore. All right, what do you want to do now, then? Mm-hmm. So, oh, okay, so can I keep just working at the airlock moths? Until okay, uh, how long do you want to do that for? How many hours are left? You currently have... Jesus. Uh, 18. You have 20 hours left in your day. Then I'm going to eat and then go back and kill. Okay. That takes an hour. Um, and you... <laughs> oh, oh, this poor moss. 19 hours left in the day. Are you going to spend all 19 at this? No. <laughs> but definitely the next five. Okay. Spend the next five hours prodding at this stuff. It is now a charred black. Um, once again, it is not looking very healthy at all. Um, yeah, it stops growing like in the research room. So the whole airlock moth is not grow is not growing. Uh, not not as far as you can see, no. Right. Okay then, right. Um, I'm gonna go back to storage and s- so the thing that I, I is electrical damage. Yeah, so it's not fire. Uh, no, it's not fire. I mean, I guess the thing is, but is the thing it's doing to it burning it or is it electric? I mean, it's electrocuting it, but it, yeah, it's turning it crispy. It's mm. sort of like fire, but not quite. I don't know. I don't know the science behind fire and electricity and all the differences, but in this game, there's different uh, things to kill. Different right. stats for it. Okay, maybe I spend another hour in storage looking for weapons, I okay. guess. Before before you go to storage, uh, just roll a d20 for an encounter again. Five. Cool. Woohoo. Okay. Five. Okay, roll another D twenty. Oh wait, see the um the, the walking moss in the bat? What where are they? Uh the crystal thing just flew away, did its own thing while you slept, and the walking moss you haven't seen. Okay. Okay. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Okay. So, uh, as you're walking to the lift down to the basement, you walk past a window, and out of the corner of your eye, you see a dark shadow at the window outside in on the moon's surface. But when you look back, there's nothing there. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we go to the storage room. What is it you're searching for again? Weapons and or basically anything of use. Anything of use. Alright. This is a big storage room as well, so you can probably find quite a lot. Um Okay. Ten. Ten, 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 ten. Is that anything? No, you don't find anything. Okay, I'll roll maybe a couple of times more. Just... Okay. okay. The dots at the bottom, right? Yeah. Six. Ooh, you find, you find uh, nothing again. Okay. Sixteen. Ooh. Nothing. How long have I spent doing that? Three hours. <laughs> and how long's left in the day then? Um, there is uh, nine hours. Okay, I can do one more. Uh, 
17. Oh, you're so close. No, you find nothing. Okay, I can do I can know. I, I would if you, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Three times you've been right beside something. Eighteen. All right, you find something. Excellent. Oh. Um, you find in one of the boxes. This box is labeled Cameron. So that's oh. your partner's name. Remember. Mm-hmm. Um. You find lots of weird scribbles, same symbols repeated over and over again. The square symbol and a new one that looks like a face, almost. Um, but underneath it all, you find like uh, a necklace, almost. But this necklace has on it, um, it has an emblem, which is the square symbol that you keep seeing. I'm going to wear it. Okay, you wear it. You suddenly feel very much more aware of your surrounding area. That did wonders to your stats, by the way. Oh. Okay, so if I go back to the airlock and go outside, I want to see if that still makes me heavy. Okay, Um, roll another d20. Oh, this is encounter again. Yep. Nine. Uh, oh, okay, you found something. Um, roll another d20. Five. Five. Okay, you find another little of the crystals with wings just floating about. But so this, time the there's one. Two, this time there's two. There's two what? Okay, crystal things. So there's three in total, or? Uh, no, there's two. Two right. in total that you've seen. So there's two. There's two on this place with me that I've found. Yes. And they follow me around. Sometimes they follow you around. Sometimes they just okay glide. And wait, so what, what's is the moss dude still just about? You haven't seen him this entire time. Oh right. Uh, maybe he's mourning the dead of the, the death of his grandparents. And... <laughs> wait, you've this is day six, so you've eaten today. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Right. But, How long is left in the day? Um, oh, there is six hours. Right, okay. I'm you might want out. to consider sleeping. Oh, didn't you say I already slept? Oh, wait, no, I didn't sleep over a few days. You slept in two days. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I should do that. I will do that after I go back out from the airlock, because then I'll know. Okay. You go back to the airlock... The signs of charring and black on the moss is starting to fade. See if it's charred. Mm -hmm. Can I pull it off? Uh, Do you want to? Yeah. Okay. You try and pull it off. It does the same bubbling and squealing sound. And you have a chunk of black, crusty stuff. (laughs) Oh, so it's actually any, so all of them airlock moss I can currently pull off. Uh, you can pull some of it off, yeah, but not maybe all of it, not every square inch, but you can get quite a large bit off. All right, then I'm going to peel away as much as I can. Okay, you got to think though, where are you going to put it? Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm closing the airlock door behind, this is what I should have done before. Okay, you're closing the door behind you. I open the door into space. Okay. So now I'm standing in the open airlock Mm -hmm. with the moss. Okay. Any moss that I get into my hand, I frisbee out into space, like a space version of the the Waitrose posh push. Like, fuck. (laughs) All right. Um, Hold on. let's, Let's see how far you fling it. Because remember, things are slightly heavier. Um, this I would. Would you count? Uh, I'd say this is another attack. So this is eight. Roll d twenty. Uh huh. Once I find my dice, there we go. Oh, they're under the couch. Seventeen. 
17. Okay, you play it quite far away. It is uh, past the viewing gallery, which is a couple of meters in front of you. So it's a, it's quite a decent amount away. It, uh, if it was to start growing, it would take at the current rate. It can grow in space without oxygen. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you saw this already. Yeah, but it's just. Oh God, it's not right. No, this, yeah, they they were right when they said it should not exist and it doesn't yeah. make any sense. Okay, so was that everything that was? Did I just peel off everything that could be peeled off? Yes, everything that could be. So peeled how much off. is left? It's only a little bit. Uh, yeah, there's a small bit here. If there's only a small bit, I'm gonna chart it to bits and then yeet it. Okay. Uh, how long do you want to spend doing that? Well, until there's none left. Okay, actually, that's a quite a smart thing to do. That will take you just an hour. Um, right. You fling it in space, same result as last time. It is a, a wee bit away. It'll take it a couple of weeks if it was to start growing because you are a very big brain mathematician and you can calculate speed and distance of alien moths. Just, yeah. Wow. So the airlock is like clear of moss as far as you can tell great okay um so i, I jump up and down a few times you are how heavy, heavy am i you're you're still the same heaviness hmm. okay well then i guess it's time to go to well i mean i could go to sleep or i could do what i did there to the research place okay um, Although I did already stop the research place from go- growing, which means if I I don't have much time in the day left, so I could just act. No, I'll do that tomorrow. That's what. Okay, so you're gonna go to sleep. Yeah. All right. So, as you walk, uh, you put your spacesuit up in the wall. It gets decontaminated. So do you go out into station? You turn the corner to the bedrooms, and you see blue moss growing in front of your door. Oh shit, Cameron's room, I forgot. Um, Cameron's room had this stuff under his bed. That is true, that is true. But this um, this doesn't go into Cameron's room, this is just sort of appeared uh, what? randomly almost. Almost, you know, almost. Almost, almost. But not quite. No, not quite. Well, I mean... Time to burn it again. Okay. Do you want to spend a few hours doing that? How long's left in the day? Uh, I think five hours. Yeah, five hours. Right, okay. So when I... If I do it for like an hour in the room, can I lift everything up? Okay. Uh, you're going into Cameron's room this time. Wait, so is it my room or his room that's got his stuff in it? Well, this is this is just stuff growing in the corridor. It's not in either of your rooms. Then I'll start in Cameron's room and work my way into the corridor. Okay. Um, as you walk past, um, the moss in Cameron's room is growing, but they are not connected. These are two different individual moss piles, whatever you want to call them. So, Wait, which, which seems to have grown more? Um, the one in Cameron's room's bigger because it's been there longer. The one in the corridor is quite small, as if it's only just started growing. Well, if it's quite small, it shouldn't take. Well, it still it shouldn't take me the whole hour, so I could just like. Mm. Yeah. Right. So, how long are you spending clearing out this moss? Right. Well, I'll spend. However long it takes, I mean, I guess it shouldn't take two, it would only take, like, can you get half an hour of things? Uh, nah, it's just hour chunks. I can't be bothered to do the maths to, <laughs> to get half hour things. Well, I could do, like, a two half hours, if it's Oh, yeah, like small that, that, that makes sense, yeah. Because I'd do, like, a half an hour in the corridor, because that's how long it should take if it's small. Yeah. And then half an hour in Cameron's room. Okay. Maybe more if I have to. So you spend a total hour chart, uh electrocuting and flinging out of the airlock 
Same results as last time. You have four hours left in your day and Cameron's room and the corridor is clear of moss. Oh my gosh, I feel good that I've actually found this is revenge on the moss. Yeah. I mean, I've got a few hours left in the day and I do remember that you said there was a little bit in storage and I know that this stuff is going to come back at some point and I don't know whether the way it comes back is the more that's still there, the worse or the worst things that you've done to it, the more you shall repent. <laughs> I don't know which it's going to be, but I'm going to take the chances of it's moss, kill it. So, all right, to storage, to burn it. As and you... maybe, can can you sort of see while you're scrubbing at it? Can you sort of like keep an eye open just for anything that catches your eye? Is that a thing? Uh, yeah, I suppose. Um, oh, okay, okay, good. So as you go down the lift and you step out. The glass uh, wall beside you that allows you to see the laser, Mm -hmm. uh, you see a lot of blue moss growing out of the monolith. And this has been growing for a while. Like, you don't know how you didn't see it. But it's been, it is very fast and you can see it growing in front of you. What? Um... It's like covering your laser now as well. No, okay, burn, 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 burn. (laughs) All right, so you go to the laser room. You're gonna char it. How long do you want to spend? Until there's, until it's definitely contained. Okay, so you get the stuff off the laser pretty easily, and you manage to get the outer parts off. But the stuff that's coming out of the monolith is not budging at all. Uh, oh, you know how there's the abyss. Can I test how? Deep it is just by yeeting anything that I've falling. Um, it, no, it just it just falls for yeah, as far as you can see, there's nothing else, just falling, 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 gone. I mean, that seems like a pretty good way to get rid of moss, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So, the stuff on the side of the walls is it still growing, but it's still growing uh but you can't get rid of it it's just like firmly in place and is not budging hmm. okay well i guess i've done what i can yeah okay so how many hours are left uh three are you gonna go to sleep the storage moss I'll just go into storage. Yeah, I'll go into storage one hour, maybe. Okay. You spend an hour while keeping your eye out for any treasures. Uh, all the moss in storage, you uh, electrocute and throw into the abyss. Two hours left in your day. But you also don't find anything in the storage mm. room. Okay, so there's none in storage. Research isn't growing. Um, laser's not not covered anymore. No. Covered, so it's sort of contained, I guess, for now. The corridors are cleaned. Mm-hmm. So w- I'll go into the, any other rooms to. Okay, what rooms are left in the basement that I haven't mentioned? They haven't been in. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's decontamination, oxygen, electrical. Didn't I do decontamination when I went out there a lot? Uh, uh, no, but there's two decontaminations. There's the one for the airlock, and there's the one for the laser room. Oh right. Yeah. Well, how, I've been in the laser room, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I so it's so it's not got. There. Okay. So I know it's not got any moss. Yeah. So oxygen I'll, electrical. Are the only I'll go through them. To okay. Just check that they're in good. Oxygen. Yeah. Actually, wait. You did oxygen earlier today. That was your task. Um, right. So all I need to do is electrical. Yeah. Electrical. The worrying from last session is started to pick up again, but there is no moss. Okay, I am good with that. Then upstairs, I've been to the lunch place, airlock, corridors, rooms even, and my own room. So I've checked pretty much where else have I not checked upstairs. Uh, the hygiene room, uh, living area, and entertainment. Oh, I've been to the living bit for the oh, yeah. medical. Yeah. So yeah. I'll check entertainment. 
All right. Entertainment, you see nothing except lots of shiny bright lights that make you want to play video games. Here's this the urge. <laughs> Go back out and hygiene is also empty. Hygiene, hygiene room, yeah. Is empty. So everything everything is looking fine. Hygiene room. So there shouldn't there be things that kill moss in there? I mean you tried bleach before. Yeah. All it did was whiten it. I mean that's statue that's impossible. That really makes me think this is some freaky moss. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well then that's that. I've pretty much solved the immediate moss problem. All right. Um, Wait, there's how many hours left? Uh, two. I mean, the research room is right beside the laser room. Yes. So it would. You be... were in the hygiene room, which is upstairs. Well, th- but it would be a short trip from the moss in there to the. Um, yeah, yeah, monos. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'll do. I'm gonna get rid of the moss in the research room. Okay, it's already half charred, so it shouldn't yeah. take that long. The, yeah. So as you come back into the research room, the stuff at the very corner seems to have grown more prominent again, and has started growing outward on top of the charred stuff. Um. So this will take like two hours, which is the rest of your day. I mean, that's fine. If I, that means that at the, right at the end of the day, I'll just go to bed. So, yeah, okay. I think that's fine. So you get rid of the stuff in the research room. So, okay, so the last, the reason that it's spread out into the research room in the first place is because that stupid vial. I mean, I know that I needed to, you know, document the fact that it was, you know, never found before space moss, but yeah, it sort of bent me back. So, how mm-hmm. can I just toss the vial into the abyss as well? Because I've already documented everything I can about it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh wait, no, no, maybe a bit, 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 No, don't, don't do that. What if I put it in a glass box, which is airtight and sealed? Do I have any of those? Sure, you could find in research room, but that would take you an hour. Then, oh, yeah, because that way, if I put it in a box and keep it sealed, then I'll be able to go like, ta da, here it is, and just be able to produce. A... It takes it back to Earth. Earth is overrun with blue moss. <laughs> Maybe I could throw it at my boss, like, this is the condition, <laughs> this is the conditions you had me working in. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what. That's, that's my plan. So airtight. But okay. Right. I. I can. Yeah. Right. That's what I'll do. Twenty. You find it. <laughs> um. Okay. All right. So as you come out of wait, the... so wait, can it? It can't grow now, or can it grow out of this glass? It's sealed and everything. Uh, it is. Yeah. Airtight, as far as you can see. So it's definitely secure in there. Yeah. Yeah. Great. And if not, yeet out of the yeah. abyss. There's All plenty right. more vials, so I can easily just grab some more if I really need to, but yeah. at least that's taken care of. Sleep. Right. As you come out of the storage room, you feel uh, very, very tired, and you stumble, hit your head, but you're just dizzy. You don't get any damage. You lose five sanity because you haven't slept in a while, and that puts you down to one because that magical uh, necklace that you wear gives you one sanity. Right, so when I sleep, can I get that sanity back? Uh, you can get sanity from doing activities um, like... Uh, playing in the entertainment room, watching TV in the living room, stuff like that. Sleep, I don't think... Nah, it doesn't give you any stats. Which seems a bit broken, but oh well. Right, okay, well then I'll... Yeah, I need to sleep anyway, so yeah, I'll go sleep. Okay, go to sleep. It's now 8am. 
Yes, right. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. As you wake up, you feel the walls around you. You hear your alarm clock. Your alarm clock fades to silence. You see the walls disappear and the floor and roof sort of just peel away. You're, you're just left floating on your bed um, and it looks as if you are in space. So this is a dream, right? You might think that. You see in front of you a massive massive purple glow it is just it's sort of like a star if you can imagine a purple star in space um but within the light if you squint at it you see the massive square shape uh the necklace that you wear with the same emblem on it sort of gets warmer and also glows purple um you then see uh, on you. You recognize it from Cameron's like scribbles. It is an, another emblem. It is a face, and it is illuminated in red light. Um, and you hear both of them sort of making unintelligible noises at you, as if trying to speak to you, but you don't understand what they're saying or anything. Um. You then feel the bed being pulled away from both faces and alarm clock rings, you wake up. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. It's a dream. <laughs> yeah. Weird one, but it... Uh... Mm. Okay. So I will have a lazy morning, which means <laughs> I will copy what I did today. I will get up and then I will make food. Okay. After, wait, can I see once I make the food, can I simultaneously eat it while in the entertainment room and multitask? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you're going to need a bigger plate, though. Um, so I mean, wanna... I'm quite, probably quite hungry then. So, yeah, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay, so you spend an hour preparing, eating, and cleaning up. Uh but you also simultaneously go into the entertainment room and I suppose, or is the living room you wanted? What did you say? I guess entertainment because it's okay. for TV and stuff. Yeah. Okay. So you mess around in there, watch TV, stuff like that. But uh, when you come back to tidy up, uh, you, oh, uh, you actually, what, what was it that you get? Okay. So you get one sanity and one karma for being, in an activity in the entertainment room so you're at four karma now and your sanity is up to two again um also your hp is at half uh, it's out five out of ten but hey, while you are I didn't, while, I, when did i get hurt that much uh you lost two hp uh from stumbling and falling earlier and oh. in the last session you'd lost three somewhere <laughs> I think that was from swinging a hammer at the locker. No, but when you said you stumble and fall, you, you said you stumble and fall, but you don't lose any HP. You don't lose any conscious, but you hit your head off of the floor. Oh, right. Um, but while you're looking for a place to uh, put away your stuff, you open a cupboard that you haven't opened before, uh, and you find in it a dagger, but this dagger is blood-stained... It's dry blood, and it has, like, uh, dry blood surrounding it. Oh, great. Do you want to take it? I will take it and scan it to see whose blood it is. Okay. Uh, wait, let me add this to your inventory. Although, but I won't do that right now. Since... Oh, no, yeah, I will, because I've done everything else that I really needed to do for that lazy morning. So, okay. yeah. Right. So, are you going to scan it to see whose blood it is? Yes, do okay. any, run any tests on it that I can. Okay, you see on it, it takes you like five seconds because the scanner knows and it recognises the blood type, which is Cameron's blood. So Cameron uh, got stabbed? 
Yes. Would you like to analyse the fingerprints? Oh, I was going to say it's me or something, but yes. Okay. Yes, I would. You analyse the fingerprints. It takes another five seconds because it also realises it. this is Cameron's fingerprints as well. Cameron as well. stabbed himself. Yes. Mm. So, you know, it could say... I mean, you don't... Mm-hmm. He could also have been made to stab himself, I guess. Like, if someone else wears gloves, grabs a knife, puts it in his hand, grabs his hand, and then stabs him with it. Yeah. But... Now, the prints say he stabbed himself, and the knife says it says blood. But someone else could easily have... So I don't see Cameron be like, yes, sign me up for this trip. I've got tons of weird information on it that I shouldn't even have because I've never been here before and I don't understand <laughs> any of it. But you know what? This is time for me to go. Bye-bye. Yeah. All right. There's a mystery there waiting. There is a mystery. All right. So... Oh, I'll tell, tell people about that. Okay, so you're going to go to communications area. Yes, and so I also check my task. Okay, so your task for today is to take food to the kitchen, which will take you an hour. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, and what do you want to send to people? Like, a message, did you say? Yeah, um, found a knife, but Cameron's blood and fingerprints found on it. Wonder okay. if he was if it was staged or something. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Could be linked to his disappearance. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you send that message. Uh, Status says the message has been sent and is likely to be received shortly. Uh, Do you want to do the food task? Yes. Okay. Takes you an hour. Uh, Yep. So there's how long left in the day? There is 12, 14 hours left. And it's day... Day 7. Right. 14 hours left in day 7, so I will... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so the moss problem's gone? Uh, sort of. I'll go back to the laser and check that because that's the only the laser is currently the only place where there is a stable, consistent moss problem. Yes, yes. So maybe I'll fix that for a second if there's any problem there. Okay. Um, the moss has only grown slightly. It's not near the laser yet. It's still growing though. Um, okay. Yeah. What do you want to do now? Uh, viewing gallery. Okay, that is not a place I expect you you to go to again. To so, all right. You go to the viewing gallery. What are you hoping to do here? See things. Okay. Um, I hope to see the things that have been crawling around and watching me. <laughs> uh, roll a d twenty. <laughs> Oh no. Seven. What? Seven. Seven. Okay, roll another T20 then. Oh. Okay, I can't reach the dice because I can't sit in the way. Seven. Six. Oh. Okay. When while you're walking to the viewing gallery, you see uh, a little an, a walking spore thing. Uh, what? But this is this is like the thing that you saw earlier. It's like the moss, the blue moss, but it mm-hmm. has two legs and it's walking. All oh, right, so it's the same thing as I've seen before. This time, this one's bulkier, as if it's grown. But it could be the same one, right? Could be the same one. Might not be. So it's a two-legged. What's the so the, what's the chest like then? If it's just got two thin legs, what's it holding up? Uh, it's, it's sort of like a seed shape almost, but 
it will the first one you saw or the same one from earlier uh was seed light but this one has got like bubbles uh and it's got extra you could say it looks like skin folds like fat but it's moss right okay then uh, how big is it oh it's like your pinky finger sized oh wow that's even shorter than i imagined it <laughs> yeah you could probably drop kick it out the airlock if you wanted. <laughs> if it gets too big and I start actually getting scared, of no, it, it will probably have like a hundred thousand siblings. <laughs> All right, I'm um... very kind to it. <laughs> okay, so am I? Am I at the viewing gallery and yes. I'm not dead? Okay, yeah. You go to the viewing gallery. Roll another d twenty. Roll no. Okay. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Your marksmanship skill allows you to see out of the viewing gallery a couple, like, beside a hill, you see a little sort of, a little bit of blue behind the hill. Like, grass almost looks like grass, but it's blue, and it's a moss. It's so the moss is growing it's... again. But where is it? It's where you threw the other stuff. <laughs> but so I threw it. I threw it like meters. So it's gone. How? It's back. See when you say it's back, has it even has it reached the complex yet, or is it? Still... No, it's still a few meters away. But it's back. <laughs> Okay, well, what I do know is that the stuff from the abyss ain't coming back. True. So I could move that to there? I mean, it's growing, so you're going to have to uh, spend like an hour trying to get rid of it. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. It's worked before, it will work to this time. So yeah, I'll just run and uh, take the dead charred moss off from this hell all right yeet it into the abyss okay so you do that you spend an hour you're prodding it with your electrical zapper thing um i'm glad that i'm always keeping this on me because i feel like one of these encounters i'm gonna need that (laughs) electrical thing bear in mind you also have a knife Uh, yeah i was thinking that as well i mean it's yeah it's kind of charred and it's it's you know sort of sticky with someone else's blood but it's usable. You always have a knife. Yeah. Um, Wait, I always had a knife. No, oh, no, 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 no. You, you will always have a knife if you keep it on you. Knife, no knife, knife, no knife. Whoa, whoa. Um. All right. So you go to the moss out there, and you see that most of it's discolored and charred, but some of it is getting blue again. And at the very center, there is a very dark blue, like. It's the same shade as the stuff at the side of the monolith. Ah, so that is like the very healthy bits. Yes. Okay, so the stuff that's already charred I can already peel off, so I will mm-hmm. zap anything that's not the dark shade because I know okay. that the dark shade won't let me peel it away anyway. Okay, so... Well, I'll, uh... I'll, I'll, I'll just try like white, or, you know, just zap it, see if I even can peel off the dark blue stuff back to the moment. So you spend like an hour doing that. Um, most of it is gone. There's like a... If you could imagine like... Yeah, I don't know. Like the length of a treadmill. <laughs> That's how much is left of the dark stuff. But um, everything else is clear and it's still a decent distance away from the station. And the so, dark stuff, there's no way for me to currently get rid of it. Mm, currently no and it is in space as well so that's another thing mm-hmm. hmm. it do be growing okay well at least that's the moss problem re-fixed I mean if, if, I, yeah, I guess I threw it out into now I know abyss is where I will throw any future bits 
Basically anything I don't, been... if I don't want it around, I'm throwing it into an abyss. I don't, so, in, so is it like an abyss into the actual moon, or is it like an abyss into this weird space dimension that can, that exists within a monolith? Uh, there's like no way for you to tell. Oh, that's great. <laughs> um, hmm. Unless you want to jump in, I would not recommend doing that, by the way. Strap a camera. Game. Strap a camera to the bat and just okay. strap a camera to the bat. Strap a uh, weight to the bat. Say goodbye to the bat. Watch the bat. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's no, heartless. No, that's... Oh, no. It's... No, I won't. Our, I mean, it probably wouldn't be able to tell me anything from it anyway. All I would see is the death of the bat. <laughs> it would be able to tell me if there was a bottom. And if there was a bottom, I would know that it's actually into the moon instead of into space or this other weird dimension. Yeah. Do I have a drone? You do not have a drone. Yeah, I was, it's a bit low budget. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They can't even afford weaponry, as far as you can see. So, a drone, no. <laughs> uh, all right. So you have um, how long is that? Thirteen hours left in your day. What do you want to do? Okay. So, what activities can earn me things that I would like to have? All right, so currently you are at low health. Oh, yeah, okay, so I'm going to do anything I can to get to full health. Right. What are those things? Resting and relaxing is something that will get you... Wait, hold on. Yeah, that will get you one HP per hour spent there. No, two hours spent there. So it's basically your big lazy day. I mean, that is what I said I was going to do. But, uh... Oh, wait, but also... what is, is that it? That's all I can do if I want HP? Yeah, that's all there is, really. You could, okay, well... in the living room as well, there is some, uh, like, basic medical supplies, so I'll give you, like, 2 HP if you go there as well. Like, 2 well, bonus. Just... Yeah, okay, well, I'll do that. And then, to work up for the rest of the HP, I'll use the living room. Okay. So you get two bonus health from the stuff there. Puts you up to seven out of ten. If you, it, it'll take six hours for you to regenerate to full health. And I've got thir- Did you say thirteen hours? Uh, y- yes, thirteen hours. Yeah, I can work with that. Okay, full okay. health, seven hours left. All right. Um, full health once again. Okay, so living room is that pretty much only good for if you want health. Health and karma. Actually, wait, you get three bonus karma because you spent time there. Great. All right. Okay, so that's also good. Um, what's karma used for exactly, though? You'll see eventually. Oh, actually, your sanity is on two out of six. Uh, yeah, so how do I get my sanity back up? So... You will want to spend time in the entertainment room. Right, so um, if I get one per hour, so that's four hours? Oh, it's actually one per three hour. So, might not be the best thing now, but I don't know. But I want to be sane. Is that yeah. the only way I can get sanity? Yes, doing stuff you enjoy is like the only way you can get sanity I back. enjoy research. Mm, not when you've got impending blue moss in your eyeline. <laughs> <laughs> and so this blue moss is just going to... It's, it's literally sending me over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The blue moss itself hasn't done anything to you. You've just, like, tripped and fell a couple of times trying to get rid of it, and that's hurt you more. <laughs> Oh dear! I'm my own worst enemy. <laughs> this is actually this is bas- this is basically genuine paranoia about that moss. Because yes. so far it hasn't done anything wrong, and nope. I've devoted hours to getting rid of it. 
and I treat it like it's the liter- it's literal death itself moving across the station. But I just don't get a good feeling when I hear physically impossible space moss. That doesn't give me a good feeling. I can see, yeah, I can see the reason. <laughs> well then, I'm... So how many hours are left? Oh, um, I think, wait, um, this is your third day. You have eight hours left in the day. Cool, cool, cool. With eight hours, I could just go a bit into day eight if I was to get my sanity back up to full. Okay. Uh, And then I would be at full everything, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, Hold on. Wait. That's not good. Okay, so you need you need this is basically my my real R and R day because yeah. I took care of the thing that's been sending me mad, and <laughs> I then so I celebrated that by just sitting down for twenty hours. <laughs> yeah. All right. It will take you twelve hours to get all your sanity back. So it's four in the afternoon, and it'll be four in the morning to get yes. full sanity. And we'll also get karma because I take it that's another. Thing yeah, you'll get karma back. Yeah. Okay. Well, if I like karma as well, then by the same signs of it. So yeah. Okay, that sounds like it will work out quite well. Yeah, so you're now on eleven karma, and wait, uh, you spent twelve hours. Which where's the timer? Um. Uh, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Okay. Um, I've had a lot of productive days. I mean, I've, I, be, I got to the stage with a laser where I need to wait for like, I, I it was like five yeah. days. I was like five days early for that thing. Yeah. So yeah. I think that our rest and relaxation day was well earned. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Um. Okay, today is day eight. It's what time? You... Four a.m. Yeah. So I'll sleep. Sleep. Okay. Um. That's actually yeah. That's productive. Seven hours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um. A.m. So. Okay. You have got getting up at eleven after staying up to four. And doing nothing that whole day. This is <laughs> this is this is the accurate part. This is where it gets real accurate. Yeah. All right. Do you want to go to That's comms? Yesterday. Oh my god. Uh, you... Yeah, I'll go to comms. Oh yeah, there was that message that was probably gonna get sent back after I told them about yeah. potential murder. All right. Um. Okay, so you go back to communications area. Your two tasks for today are realign the communications tower and the clean out the energy deposit. Um, so the, you have received a message back. Um, it says, we can't, currently we can't do anything uh, about your issues on said base. Somewhere, I can't remember what it was named. Um, but we are currently overwhelmed by an unknown source trying to travel to your destination. What? Uh, The message ends. So in other words, not only are you, we can't send help, but we are currently fending off a strange alien force (laughs) that wants to get to where you are alone. Yeah, basically. Hmm. You know those supplies that they're sending? Can I like pay, <laughs> can I pay extra to get them faster? Is this like an Amazon <laughs> delivery thing where <laughs> Prime will get me faster help? <laughs> and who if it's delivered by robots, I will I will scrap them and use their parts for <laughs> weapons if I have to. <laughs> like I will build myself like apocalyptic procedures Jeez. if I have to. 
Can you imagine you going to Rambo in a space station? <laughs> Prepare for the worst, hope for the best. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. You've got 13 hours left in your day and two tasks. Do you want to do these tasks? Yes. All right. And while I'm in these rooms, I'll just check for anything at all. Okay, so the first one is Realign Communications Tower. Oh, that's in space, isn't it? Uh, yes. Wait, wait so what's the... No, I'll, I would save time if I did the one that's inside first, wouldn't it? Okay. Um, I'll do that. Clean out energy deposit, which is in the electrical room. Woo! And I'll keep, keep an eye out for anything like louder whirring or literally anything. All right. As you, you go into the electrical room uh, to do your task, but as you're doing it, roll a d20. As I'm doing it, I just go into my pocket and yeet a d20 across the room. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, no. What'd you get? Two. <gasps> you finally rolled it. What? <laughs> you hear loud whirring, it sounds mechanical, and as you go towards the noise, it gets louder and louder. Almost as loud as it... No, it's louder than it was when you heard it yesterday. Uh, no, last session, which was nearly a week ago, um, in terms of this game. Uh... As you, you manage to pull back some wires that are hanging loose off of the wall and you find a dugout tunnel. Um, are you telling me that... Okay, so... Are you telling me that the lore that I roll, that actually is good sometimes? There's different... different um, there's different rolls that you can get for each room and it changes depending on what outcomes have happened previously. So if you hadn't got a response back from the people, like, say they were already dead, this would not have been found. They die? They could die, depending on what you roll. I mean, they could have died. So, if, oh my god. <laughs> so, th the lives of everyone that knows where I am depends on what I roll. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and an alien force could have wiped them out without me even knowing if I had rolled a different number. Basically, maybe. maybe. Oh, the things seem to be going... I mean, okay, other than the, you know, early par onset paranoia about nice-looking blue moss. Yeah. Other than that, things seem to... They could, I think they, they could have gone worse, definitely. Yeah. I could be in a lot deeper shit. <laughs> you could have, yes. <laughs> All right. So, do you want to funnel? Do Do you want to funnel? Do you want to follow the tunnel? Have I finished? I'll finish the task. Oh yeah, you finished it. Like... You finished. It. Oh, I finished it. Yeah. Okay. Well, on I go. All right. So you follow the tunnel. One of the wires has been disconnected from its original outlet and is now been loosely strung up onto the wall following the tunnel allowing little uh, lamps at the side on the wall to be powered you follow the tunnel long enough and like this is on your hands and knees sort of stuff, this is not standing upright this is where the claustrophobia sets in, roll a d20 <laughs> oh. eleven okay you keep carrying on, and the wire ends with a generator that is making like an ear splitting whir. This is what you've been hearing for the past couple of days. And... Uh, when it overheats, it just makes it gets louder. Yeah, yeah. So you carry on, and eventually the tunnel opens up so you can stand in it and you find a door at the end of the tunnel. Open the door. But while ready, I'll hold the thing in my hand. The electrical stabber thing. You also have a knife. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, do you want to use the knife or the pokey proddy thing? Okay. 
Uh, which does more da- Okay, I take it a knife will do more damage, but yeah, yeah. I mean, it's got lo- the the thing. This electrical thing will have longer reach, won't it? So, uh, I suppose. I mean, you could dual wield them. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> 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 All right, so you kick down the door, ready to take on what's ever behind it. You see a desk and a cupboard, and your vision is blocked because of a wall, so you can't see what's on the other side of the room. Okay, well then, slowly and carefully, I will move around the wall to see what's on the other side. All right, so... To your right, there is a desk. In front of you, there is a cupboard. To your left, there is a board, like the kind you see in detective movies, strung up with pictures, scribbles. Oh, this is Cameron's workspace. Mm. And to your left, you see a ring made of, like, uh, a, a ring that has been made up of blood, dried blood. Oh, so ca- oh, so Cameron did do it to himself. I mean, maybe. He used it so he could do whatever this weird blood ritual thing is. Okay. All right. So, what do you want to look at first? Uh, the desk. Open it up for anything that could. Okay. The desk. Now let me let me see something here. Um. Okay. You find in his desk is a key. Hmm. So that is added to your inventory. Don't know why that had to rhyme, but it did. Um, uh, okay. You also find on his desk. Wait, hold on. Uh, no, never mind. Never mind. Pretend that didn't exist. That was for something else. Okay, so all you find is a key and more scribbles and broken pencils and stuff like that in his desk. Right. So there was the desk, the board, and the... A cupboard. Else? Okay, open the cupboard up. All right. In the cupboard, you see, um, like, skulls. That's, it's made of bone, but it's not a human skull. Um, It's... Sort of like an ape skull, but it's dented and deformed and not looking very good. Right. Um, then I'll look at the board now. Okay. Oh, wait, should I take any of the skulls with me? Do you want to carry deformed skulls with you? I could scan them to see what the hell they are. Okay, you pick it up. You're carrying a skull. Um, what do you want to look at now? The, well, I guess that's what's left the board. Okay, on the board you see the square symbol. Uh, wait, I'll I'll tell you in order because there's arrows to this. You see, on the bottom left is a diagram of the laser. Um, and there are four lines. And at the end of the fourth line is a black circle. That arrow then points to the square symbol that has been crossed out and the face symbol, which is holding the black circle. It then points to a sort of diagram of a city. And then that points to almost a diagram of a star system. Okay. Do I have phone on me? Um, I mean, you can carry like light equipment and stuff. So I'm assuming you carry like a scanner or something. And then I'll take a. Can I take photos? Sure. Let's see. If the I'll take a photo of this board. Okay. You also find underneath the board a uh, a map that has been sort of fallen down. It lo- it looks like a map. It has bearings and numbers and stuff, but it doesn't like. It is compass points almost. It is crosshairs, uh, double crosshairs. Um, it is double crosshairs. One of the lines is doubled up, 
two of the lines have been scribbled out and there's a picture of the face symbol and the square symbol at opposing sides of the lines. Okay, well, I'll just take that. Thank you very much. And then <laughs> revise that at a later date. All right. That's that means. Okay. Let's see. So, yeah. So, is there the, is the only way to get out of there through the, the white, through the electrical place? Yes. Hmm. Okay then. Uh, so right, I'll leave here. Then finish the. Oh, oh have yeah, a go look at the shrine thing. What shrine? Wait. The oh yeah, the ring. blood thing. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Uh, it's. I suppose I just want to do this for extra time. Um, it's just two lines of blood. Uh, you scan it and it comes up with it is the same stuff. It's the same as Cameron's blood. Uh. And it looks like the earth, like uh, the ground in the centre has been scarred and charred. Right. Cameron seems like a weird guy. Or maybe his killer is a weirder. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'll finish the task then. Uh, the other one, which means going outside. Yeah, real line communications term. And when I go out, oh, on my way outside, I'm I'm in the basement, so I will to get to the left. The left is right across from the laser. I'll just look into the laser and see what the progress with the moss is there. Okay, uh, you climb out the tunnel, out the electrical room. You see the moss is maybe like a foot away from the laser. Is the mo- is that the moss that I can remove, or the moss that I just I shouldn't even worry about? Well, the dark. The darker moss is growing over the lighter moss, which is a foot away. All right, the lighter moss is a foot away. Well, Mm -hmm. then, is it possible to just... I mean, how much is there of light moss? Uh, Well, uh, you can imagine, like, two rings. So the outer ring is the lighter moss, and the centre ring is smaller and it's darker. Uh, the lighter moss grows faster than the darker stuff. Mm. Right, okay, so I'll get rid of the lighter stuff then and okay. throw it into the abyss. Takes about an hour. You have ten hours left of the day. Um... Okay, so then I... Communications yeah. tower? Yeah, communications tower. So, okay, the communications tower is outside. It'll take you six hours to do this task. All right, well, I guess I should do it then while looking out for the weird things moving on the outside of this place. Roll a d20. Oh. <laughs> 18. That is not an encounter. Okay, you're lucky. Dear God, what would have happened if it was lower? <laughs> uh, wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? I would, I would like to know. <laughs> okay, you've got four hours left in day. The moss in space is uh, not really... Not really... Problem. To be seen. Right, yeah. Well. Okay, so everything's good there. I'll eat. Okay, you'll eat. Uh, that'll take an hour. Yada yada. You eat food, clean up after yourself. Everything's good. Um, three hours left in the day. So I'm at full sanity. I'm at full health. Yep. I've got good karma. Or thereabouts. Yep. Um, uh, hmm. 
I need to wait for day 10. Oh, Cameron's locker. The key to the locker. <laughs> All right. Do you want to go to the locker? Yes. All right. I will have my revenge on the locker. Okay. So you go to Cameron's room and you go to put the key into the padlock. The key fits perfectly. You switch it around. It opens really smoothly. And inside you find a shotgun. Oh, it's Rambo in space. <laughs> All right. Okay. Give me the shotgun. How much ammo is there? Um, this is this shotgun is called the shrapnel blaster. So you can take bits of stones, fragments of metal, anything that could potentially be lethal, and it will be used as ammunition. <laughs> Target practice with the crystal bat. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, uh, okay, so how much ammo is there currently with it? Uh, enough to fire maybe if you ration it 10 shots. <laughs> also, may I point out that this is the locker of the potentially insane guy who's <sighs> been drawing symbols for the for a long period of time apparently who went missing and has got blood throughout the place yeah but mm-hmm. but he's a, he probably is actually kind of because he figured out like I don't know but he's the symbols and things and his necklace although he did leave me a cryptic note yeah he's batshit crazy <laughs> yeah, he's he's nuts. So, oh, okay, well, I'll use his own shotgun to blow his head off. Oh my god. Simple okay. as that. Alright. This is the kind of shotgun that is... Uh, it would be military grade if there was suitable ammunition, but this is for, like, survivors uh, going into the wilderness for hunting purposes. So, so this a, is... I bet that still means it's a really good gun, though. Yeah, it's... it's uh... It's a meaty beast. <laughs> Wait, was he planning on shotgunning me? Uh, bit of backstory, you two were good friends. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. So, But he didn't know there was anything else here. Why did he need a shotgun? <laughs> I mean, as far as you knew. I mean, yeah. I mean, I feel like I need a shotgun and I still don't know if there's anything else here. So. <laughs> He had a good point. Yeah. I... So would it be easy to get more ammo? Ammo? Yes. Yeah, you can just literally go out onto the moon's surface, pick up some pebbles, and it gets recycled into ammunition. Okay, well, I'll do that for an hour to grab some more. Okay. The more... So more, the merrier. <laughs> Two hours left in the day. Okay. You are... Your character is, um, he's got some stuff. <laughs> oh, storage. There's always stuff in storage. There's always stuff. In, yeah, that's true. So I will go to storage. All right. Storage. Okay, I roll d20. Seven. Ah, nothing. And another time. Seventeen. Nothing. The alarm goes off to sound the new day, and the session is over. <laughs>